All right, what is going on guys back with another video. Um, I am so sorry for not posting Dude, I haven't posted in like oh god. Let me even check. Wow. I literally have not posted in half a year Um, well this video is anticlimactic. It's not like it's not gonna be titled something click but like yo I'm finally back. Nobody really cares. Uh, yeah, this video is just about um, how to use my uh, my program because I realized I made a video on how to use SDIE uh, or SHSH device information extractor, but I never really made a video on how to use the BTD password extractor, which is a program that extracts a password for the data.jet file in uh, BTD battles. And it doesn't matter what version you're on, even the latest one, like it, it cracks basically. It literally hacks and cracks the password for each uh, archive. So yeah, really without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, first things first, shameless plug, but you're gonna wanna head to my website uh, called futureflash.ga. Uh, link will be in the description as well. And uh, once you're here, you'll be greeted with this nice animation. And uh, real quick, I just want to say something. Um, I know none of you care, but I just want to throw it out there. I did get a new PC. Now I have literally three monitors, which is cool. Uh, I know literally none of you asked. This is just, I'm just showing you guys. So uh, here's the spec for this computer. It's an i9-12900F, so it's a 12th generation. Um, at around 2.4 gigahertz right now it's joining. Uh, I have 48 gigs of RAM. I don't know why it shows 49. It's it's literally 48 gigs of RAM. And uh, from a GPU, I have an RTX 2070 Super. It's an 8, gig of, uh, 8 gigabyte card. Yeah, again, shameless plug. I just want to mention it because I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So I might as well let you know what's going on in my life, right? So yeah, basically, let's just get right back into the video. I went way off track. Um... But yeah, sorry, once you're on my website, um, you click the second button over here, the blue one, the uh, BTD Battles Password Extractor. And now once that loads, feel free to click download. It says Detective System Windows. It, it, there's no version on, on Mac, by the way. I just want to make that clear. It's just for Windows only. If you're on Mac, it will literally say like in, in the red text, like this, this program will not work on Mac, only in Windows. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and click the download over here. And go ahead and open it. And now once this pops up, just... Uh, go ahead and click more info and then run anyway. The only reason for this, it's not a virus or anything. Uh, it's just because the app is not signed. And to do that, you need a, a code sign certificate. And a code sign certificate is like $500. It's literally meant for like businesses. So don't worry about that. This is just because I'm a single developer. Of course, it's going to say that. But it's not a virus, I promise you. But yeah, just go ahead and click run anyway. Wait for that. Click yes. Very important. Click install. Wait for that to finish all. Um, feel free to read this, but you can read the about information over here. This is just a terms and agreement kind of, it's not really, there's nothing really to agree to, but y you get it. Yeah. So go ahead and click next, finish. And to launch the program, it can be one of two ways. Um, you can go ahead and use a shortcut on your desktop, or you can just search BTD Pass Extractor, and it will be uh, right here. So go ahead and open it. And once it does that, first thing will pop up. I know it's kind of scary, but just, just read. It's all right. All it says is, please locate your data.jet file. So this works for both the, the BTD battles from the Windows Store and the BTD battles from the Steam Store. So in this case, I'm going to be using the Steam. Um, go ahead and click OK. And then now locate your data.jet file. So if you're on Steam, the default directory is, um, uh, you would go to C, Program Files, x86, Steam, uh, Steam apps in the common and it's right here balloons TD battles once you go into that you go into assets and then there it is the last file data.jet go ahead and select it make sure selected and go ahead and click open and then there you go now you should be prompted uh, with this this will say status not running open up uh, BTD battles I'm gonna go into Steam Right, so I just launched the Steam version. You gotta keep in mind which data .jet fee it says Steam status running Steam version. So it will say status running Steam version. So you gotta make sure you have the right data .jet file for the right version. Um, but anyway, once it's open, you go ahead and minimize it. Don't close it. Leave it open. Just minimize it. And uh, once it's running, go ahead and click extract password. Wait for that. It's extracting. And now it will give you the password. So you can go ahead and copy to clipboard and uh, I'm gonna write it down here somewhere in my second monitor and now go into the directory where your steam um, steam installation is so you can actually test if the password actually works yeah so I'm doing this to prove it to you guys that the password actually does work it's not like a random generate like stupid number so once you locate the the data.jet one thing I like to do is basically make a copy and then just name it data.jet.bak. So you have a backup in case anything happens, 
in case you modify anything, anything goes wrong, just you have this. All you gotta do is just rename it to uh, data.jet and then you're, you're good. To modify the files, you just, uh, um, you just rename it. You can select it and click F2 on your keyboard or you can right click it and click rename. It's the same thing. Um, but where it says dot JET, you just want to put dot ZIP. So it's a zip archive. When this pops up, go ahead and click yes. And now we can open it and see, say I want to extract it. See, it will ask for a password. So take the password that you copied earlier, paste it in here, click OK and see it will start extracting. Yeah, as you can see, it did extract. I mean, all, all the files are here, um, so it does work. I'm not going to get into detail on how to modify your data.jet file. I mean, obviously, if you use a tool like this to extract the password, you should already know how to modify your data.jet file. That's kind of the point. But yeah, I just wanted to show off my program, really. Um, shameless plug again. Oh, one more thing, actually. Don't forget, when you're done, rename this back to data.jet so the, the game can actually function properly because it will not load without this file. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think that's a whole tutorial. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Oh, one more very, 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 very important thing. Say BTD Battles updated, right? When you open it and when you try to extract it, it will give you errors because you're still using the data.jet file that was in the previous version. So to fix that, you just right click this, you click open file location. And then right here where it says data.jet.back, make sure you delete it. And now when you open up the program, it will say, please locate your data.jet and you do the exact same thing with the new data.jet. Say your game updated, obviously we'd have to use the newer data.jet and click open and you're back to square one basically. It's literally right here. So yeah, that's how to fix that. And if you're having issues, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to issue an update. My program does have over the air updates, OTA updates. So you don't need to like go to my website and download it again. It will literally prompt you with like, as soon as you open the program with like a, with like a dialogue that literally says like, Hey, do you want to update? And then you can go ahead and click update. So it does do that automatically over the air on, on the internet. No need to re-download manually. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, leave a comment below and subscribe. Peace.